This week, the S&P 500 almost broke its four weeks winning streak, but the tech giants came to the rescue. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week, all in today's S&P saga. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,304.72 cents, unchanged from last week. The P ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 27.57, up 0.01 points since last week. Let's start with the gainers. Nvidia, up an incredible 344.1 billion, or 15.1%, after announcing fantastic results and guidance for their Q1 2025 results. Microsoft, up 74 billion, or 2.4%, after announcing their new Copilot Plus PCs powered by Qualcomm chips. Eli Lilly is up 34.9 billion or 4.8% after announcing capacity expansion for its Manjaro and Z-bound GLP-1 drugs. Qualcomm is up 18.4 billion or 8.5% following the announcement of the Snapdragon X Elite chips to power new Microsoft laptops. Meta is up 16 billion or 1.3% on no specific news. Moving on to the losers, Amazon is down 41.1 billion or 2.1% percent on no specific news. Exxon is down 28 billion or 5.2 percent because of a shareholder lawsuit that backfired. Berkshire Hathaway is down 20.8 billion or 2.3 percent on no specific news. Home Depot is down 18.8 billion or 5.5 percent as investors took profits following last week's earnings announcements. Johnson & Johnson down 18.6 billion or 5 percent on a pending lawsuit related to their top products. This week, there were no changes announced to the S&P 500. So what should you look out for next week? Thanks to Nvidia, we should have at least one more quarter of positive returns for the S&P 500. But the benefits of the year-on-year -year comparatives will stop next quarter for them. 10 companies will release earnings during the week and at May 31st, 2024. And the most interesting will be Salesforce on May 29th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, expected to report $2.37 EPS on $9.15 billion of revenue for their Q1 2025 results. Costco on May 30th at 1.15 p.m. Pacific Time, expected to report $3.71 EPS on $57.97 billion of revenue for their Q3 2024 results. Dollar General on May 30th at 9 a.m. Central Time, expected to report $1.58 EPS on $9.9 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. So which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below. To find out why Apple and Walmart were up last week, you should watch this video next.